Yeah, he's in a bad mood. On the bad mood. Huh. Hello everyone, this is Javier, and you're watching Retire Recharge Realm. This is fourth in our series of our Southern Wild Road Trip. Today we'll be in Baxe and Chapasak. If you like this content, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button so we can keep this content flowing. So Baxe is about an hour north of Chapasak, where we'll be going to the Wakbu Festival. And you can see it's way down south from Vinchan, the capital city. Glad you can join us today. We made our drive in from Baksong and got in in the late afternoon to Baksa. So our intention was to just rest and start early the next morning. Is there a fire? Well, it turns out we didn't get much rest because there was a fire just a couple of doors down from our room in the hotel. And didn't make us feel very good about staying there the rest of the night, but we didn't have much of a choice. So, we got a little bit of sleep and then made our way out the next morning. The next morning, we made our way to the local market in Baxa. For reference, Baxa is the second largest city in Laos. So it's pretty bustling, lots of activity, and you could see that in the market as we walked around. Walking around the market, there was lots to choose from. We were able to find a uh, Kalpiak stall, which is always a tried and true breakfast in Lao. Kalpiak is a noodle soup with a little bit thicker noodle. And we were able to find one with some crispy pork. This is a big market. Yeah, they have everything. Oh. Kapiak, look up. That looks good. You can see that sinyai noodle and the uh, mukup with the crispy pork. That looks good. And there's also some pig wood, which is common in Kapiak in Lao. Gonna put a little bit of uh, chili, pig namat. After breakfast, we made our way to the hilltop temple known as Wat Bu Salau. This overlooks the city of Baxa and is home to a number of Buddha statues as well as the great big Buddha that overlooks the city and the Mekong River. So we walked around the temple for a little bit, made merit, and then went on our way. Even the goats were taking the toe away. I 
about half an hour out of Huapu and Tempestock province and just stopped to uh, take in the, the rice field. Once we got into Chapasak, we found a place to have lunch. So this was a nice garden type restaurant where we walked through a rice field to get to you know, our place to sit. It was nice and relaxing with a mountainside to our back and the rice fields to our front. Find a nice restaurant in the middle of the rice fields. And the mountain behind it, yeah, Brakao is so nice very yeah. good. Yeah, it is pretty here. And you got some freshly squeezed lime juice. Mmm, that's good. Dollar and 15 cents. You can say that dollar 20 cents is. 25,000 tip? Yeah, 25,000 tip. So just a little bit over a dollar? Yeah. Dollar, dollar 10 cent or 15 cent or something like that. Yeah. The food is a price is good too. Would you say it's priced the same as the restaurant in Pak Song that we went to? Yeah, and it's just normal price. Pretty good prices here. Yeah, really good price. In the south. We got a friend with us. He must be hungry. And get mad and screaming at us. Yeah, he's in a bad mood. On a bad mood. We got some pork. Mm. And some. Pick. This is papi. Palapi. Palapi. Kapao pom. What yai? Kapao. Kapao kai. Kapao kai. Yeah. Looks good. Bon appetit. All right, we made it to Champa Sak. They quoted us a price of about 400,000 kip, so you know, about $20 a night, it's not bad. We'll take it, including breakfast. All right guys, here is our guest house in Champasak. Uh, we're paying 450,000 kip for this one with breakfast included so just about twenty dollars right on the mekong river nice place and you can see we've got a king-size bed air condition which is always good television which we don't watch oh, it's got a little fridge and it's got the bathroom with the shower, which I believe is heated, but it's so hot now. A cold shower feels pretty good. So that's it. We'll be here in Chapasak, going to the Wapu Festival. So seems like a pretty good place. We're pretty happy with that. Okay, so now we're making our way to Wapu and Champasak. Wapu dates back to pre-Angkor, and you can see there is some remnants of the Khmer influence among the architecture. We, uh, when we got there, we didn't realize that there was a pre-opening ceremony for the festival, so you'll see some of that. So we will just walk through and let you look and listen.
They already have their drinks ready. Yep. Ready to sell. Yep. I think they have one time, one time ago for the festival when they did. ลำนำใจสร้างจังหวะหรือสร้างกองใจพร้อมใช้จักรพรรดิพักรักน้ำพาอาสาสมยูดีกินดีนี่คือคำคมของแขวงจังหวะสักเมืองที่เคยของนี
ันดีภาษาีนมาคู่กดได้การยงย่อให้เป็นมรดกทางวัฒนธรรมของโลกนำมาสึ่งความภาคภูมิใจของศาสตร์เฮา